It is already proven that Topical Authority is the best way for new website to rank and get traffic. Topical Authority is making enough valuable content in your niche so that Google sees you authority for that topic. And here's a detailed prompt to create Topical Map of your website. You can give this prompt to ChatGPT and ChatGPT will give you a topical map for your website which looks something like this. But when you import it to Google Spreadsheet, it looks something like this. You can see the topical map for urban gardening niche and we created a topical map for digital marketing and a hobby of cider coffee and for a cricket website. In this topical map, you have the pillar content which is really important to gain topical authority and then you create cluster content which are all linking back to pillar content and pillar content is linking to the cluster content. And then you have the search intent you have the suggested title because this is the topic this is the title and then slug then and then search volume and keyword difficulty and this is a decent topic in map for website we just created with one click using ChatGPT or any other ai tool of your choice and explain complete steps how you can generate this topic in map for website i explained in last two videos that what is topic authority and how to create topic in map for website so once you finish watching this video please watch these two important videos link will be in description in this video let's talk about validation of this map that how to make it super effective as we know AI is not perfect. It helps us to research but is not perfect and if you trust AI blindly you are a monkey with a gun in your hand. So in this video let's talk about how to validate this map, what are the issues with this map so that the map you create will be a really really effective map and you really gain authority quickly in your niche. So let's learn how to validate and improve this topical map for your website and make it very effective. But before that I highly highly recommend you subscribe to the channel because I create all these well-researched tutorials to create effective website, rank high and get traffic on your website with the right use of AI. So if you're serious about your website growth, please subscribe to the channel. It just take one second and I will really, really appreciate that. And if you want to go one step further, you want to support the channel, you can join the channel membership for access to exclusive PDF, cheat sheet and member only videos. Okay, with that said, let's continue the video. Okay, so now we have this map. You can see this map looks real nice, but there's some issues with it. First issue is you might see this kind of issues. For example, you can see, so this title is here, but then says so US slug, you see it's right in Brinjal and all the lines are mismatched here. So look for these kind of errors. For example, so this title is divided into two parts here. So what we can just do, we can paste this and we can bring it to the relevant section. This is another part. And then this section, we can just directly copy paste here. And you will have this kind of mistake in your file. So you need to look for this kind of mistake. The next important thing to understand here is search volume and keyword difficulty is not exactly correct. This is the data generated by ChatGPT. You can use Grok, Gemini, any other tool. Different tools might have different kind of data. I will explain you how we can look for this data in further in this video. Okay, now one very important thing. So pillar content, cluster content is all about covering all the topics in the relevant domain. How we know that we are covering the, all the topics? So looks real nice, beginner guide to urban gardening, choosing the right plant, composting home for beginners, best fertilizer, growing herbs, container gardening tips and tricks. Then we talk about growing vegetables and relevant topics and then indoor plants, gardening tools and equipment. This looks really, really complete, but let us validate this data. It's really important that you validate this kind of data and how you can do that by doing a Google search. Let's take example of one of this topic. Let's take example this one or maybe better. Let's take example for a subtopic cluster content. Let's say we talk about top 10 balcony plants for Indian climates. So if I search your top 10 balcony plants, what you can see, you find this kind of website. Now we have to pick some website with high DA, like what they're doing. Of course, if their website, they're ranking with low DA, like this one website, it's a really good sign. And one interesting thing, I searched 10 balcony plants, but here there's the link about nine colorful plants that will thrive on balcony. Because this website is a topic authority in this domain, and this is very close to our search query. If I open this page, you can see nine colorful plants that will thrive on a balcony. Seems like this website is covering in very detail and it has real nice details of all the blog posts. So what we can learn from this website? Okay, so this website is talking about decoration, home improvement, that is not relevant. But when you go to garden, you can see there are all topics here. The topics about flower, garden pests, carrying your yard, container gardens, garden design, all these things. So make sure all these topics are covered here. And for example, you can see this website edible gardening. This topic is not covered in our topical map here. So what we can do, we can open a notepad file and then we can write edible gardening. And if I click on this link garden, you can see what they are doing. They have all these topics or subtopics about garden. So their pillar content is garden and they have all this topic. This is really interesting. If I click on plant encyclopedia, we come to this page where they talk about all the plant from A to Z. This is not complete detailed thing, but if I click on African daisy, you can see 
so they create this format about all the plant A to Z. You can see plant tips, care, pest problem, propagation types, companion plants, FAQ. They made a structure and they write about all the plants. This makes them authority in this domain. You can learn from this also. You can note also this point in your notepad file. Let's say we write this plants encyclopedia. And one important thing, guys, this website is also coming in the search result, but this website is about architecture and digest. It is not a authority website in our niche which we are searching on. So any result coming from this website, we're gonna ignore it. Of course, this can be a very valuable topic, but we're gonna ignore this because we want the content and juice from the best website. Don't take this as copying the content, but take it as inspiration because you are a beginner, you're starting up. So it's really important that you take inspiration from the well-established website, what right they're doing so that you can do the same thing on your website. So you can see there's another website which is ranking and here you can also find they talk about stands, soil manure, pots, planters, gardening accessories, seed, outdoor decor. And you can see all these things are here. If you just scroll here, you can see the popular categories here. Pick any category which you don't find in your topical map. For example, this can be a nice subtopic, colorful plant pots. And we go to a map, we don't have this topic. So what we can do, we can also add this on our notepad files. So now we have these three topics which are seen from our topical map. So what we do, we'll copy this. We'll go back to ChatGPT where we give the prompt. We say to ChatGPT, you miss these three subtopics, include those in the topical map. And then you give those topics here and then you enter. And ChatGPT will give you new topical map for website which you can again import to your sheet here. So now this is how you make sure you don't miss any subtopic if you want to be topical authority guy it's really important the more research you will do about it the easier it will be in the future to gain authority and to make things organized and easier for you so if you're creating a website without a strategy you're just writing the content whatever comes to your mind not the best idea it's gonna make things very difficult for you and you cannot make sure that your website will be a success it might fail but just by creating topical authority map the chances of getting website successful and to gain knowledge about the niche and to become topic authority becomes very easy and you have very high probability that your website will rank for that topic or that for micro niche. Okay, so now we have added the missing things in the topic map. Now let's see how we can validate this map. So we have different tools in the market. We have Google Keyword Planner, we have Uber Suggest, we have Ahrefs, we have Samrush. Ahrefs, Samrush are real nice tools, but they are very expensive. They're like $119 per month. This is like $139 per month. If you have to budget to invest in HRF or SEMrush, you can do that. This is a real nice tool. But for this video, we're going to continue the keyword research tool. If you want the best deal for HRF and SEMrush tool, you can check the links in description. Okay, let's continue with the keyword research tool by Google. This is a free tool. On the left sidebar, you have this option, keyword planner. And then from here, you can click on keyword planner and then you can click on discover new keyword. So now what we're going to do, we're going to research about urban gardening. So make sure guys choose the language here. I'm going to choose English here and then make sure you change the country you're targeting. It's really important that you target some country. Guys, do not do anything without a strategy. Create a strategy that will make you more close to success. So I'm going to search here India and then click on save. And now if I search and you can see I did a very silly mistake. I added to you in this search term. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to correct my mistake. And then I'm gonna click on get results. So you can see now we have some result here. You can see urban gardening searches are 1K to 10K every month. Competition is low. So we can see this is a decent topic, decent niche, decent micro niche. We can create a website about it. We can validate our ideas from here. So any system you want, you can just edit here and you can get the idea if this niche is gonna work for you or not. One more thing, guys. For example, we have this thing, urban gardening. And then we have so many other keywords here. You can see urban farmer seeds, Searches are low, do not write too much about this search is too low, then we're gonna talk later. But if you see, I have enough keywords here or not. So you can see the guarding 1,000, 10,000 and traffic is low, nice. And one very important thing guys, when you do this, this is the good thing about this tool. It suggests you a lot of other stuff. For example, urban gardening is very close to home gardening. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add this also keyword here, home gardening, and then click on get result. And you can see we have enough keyword for this topic. Okay, now let's talk about the volume. So this is the beauty about semantic SEO optimization that we don't target one keyword, we target topics and multiple topics. So for example, we have home gardening and the related keyword is indoor herb garden. So all these are related. Or for example, you say if it's very low traffic here, or let's talk about law sprinkler companies near me or best indoor herb garden, they're very low traffic, high competition. But because we are targeting the complete topic by creating cluster content and there are really good chances, even with high competition, we can rank for this kind of keyword. This is the beauty of topical authority. And also get this data is also not the perfect data. All the tools might show different data. So overall idea is to validate the idea if you have enough searches. 
with related keywords in your domain that's really really important once you validate this idea you know that what you need to do a lot of people talks about some other tools for example they talk about also ask and people also ask tools for example if i search urban gardening this give you data like this but this more like faq data if you want you can use these tools like also ask or people also ask i think it's from neil patel but these are more like faq kind of data so if you want you can copy this data and use inside the articles to create faqs which is also really good to be ranked in ai searches because if you create this kind of faq which is like direct answer snippable content i already have video about this topic you can check link in description how to rank for ai content so you can use this kind of tools also this is the also ask tool and then this is people also ask tool by neil patel and you can get a lot of related keywords here even you can get some sub topics also like urban gardening what is concept of urban gardening all these topics you can use or you can use them to create faq or for content writing on your website if i explain the summary of this video it will be that create topic map website using the prompt prompt will be in the description free for everybody to copy i might improve that prompt with the time so it will be better and better in future once you have this please go to google search about your topic search about your niche see what big website are doing what good website are doing which are related in your niche once you validated your idea you added all the missing points in your topical map then go to google keyword plan and then from here you find the competition and the every monthly searches and you can take this data i think this is much better data and you can create a new line here for example you can say keyword plan volume and then you add the instead of this data you add one more data here so it give a better idea about the keywords or about the topic you're targeting same with keyword difficulty you can take data from google keyword plan too or if you access to the ashra for semrush tools they are also very nice i hope you get some value from this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're serious about your website growth and learning the right strategy and the right use of ai tools and thanks again to channel members for supporting the channel so now we know how to vendor the topic of web of your website now watch this video screen to know how to implement the topical map of your website with practical steps Thank you.